Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 to Draw. I bet everyone never thought that this was ever going to happen, yet here we are, there's another video. Um, so, what we're going to cover in this video is instances, how to add them into your scene, and how to edit them as well. We are also going to... Um, um, look at uh, car alarms. I don't know why that wouldn't come to me. So before we get started, I just want to say, if you have any questions or anything, ask in the comments below or join the Discord. There's a link in the description. There's a lot of people on the Discord. And if I'm not around, someone's around. That's it's quite good. Okay, so how do we actually add an instance? What are they and so forth? So an instance is essentially a better form of prefabs. Um, I'm not sure when they were added to Source. I think they were added when Left 4 Dead 2 came out. Uh, I know they've been backported, like Team Fortress 2 has it. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with instances. Uh, not just setting up common logic that you use all the time. So, like, car alarms. Car alarms are a bit of a pain. If you've ever set one up before, as Forger has found, they require quite a lot of work. Well, if you make it an instance, all you have to do then is just go in and swap the car model out. And because, you know, everything else is going to be roughly the same. And ta-da! You know, you've saved yourself maybe a half hour to an hour's worth of work. Now, let's, let's look at... Um, actually, one more thing. You can also use them to subdivide maps and chop up the map. It's a bit more advanced and out of scope of this particular tutorial. But it is quite nice because, you know, you can just have all the instances and then have one main map, import them all, you know, get them all lined up and everything. And then, yeah, it's it's they're quite powerful. Um, but let's actually look at adding them. So they're an entity and the entity you want to look for is funk underscore instance. And then we just want to, I don't know, place it somewhere and you'll get this lovely little uh you know, this itty bitty little, well, it's actually gray, but it's a little gray box. And you open it up, you can change the spawn position name and all this other stuff. Now, your map has to be saved because it has to know the relative path. And then there's VMF file name and we'll hit browse. And I've already been playing around with this anyway, so I already opened it up. But in SDK content, there is a folder called instance and it has a lot of pre-done stuff uh, for a whole host of different things. We're going to add the jukebox. And we're going to hit. And then apply. And you have to give it a second because it's, you know, it's it's adding it all in. And there you go. Now we have the jukebox. And I am just going to. Bring it down. And now we're going to go on ahead and run the map and we're going to make sure that it's not, you know, carbon through or anything. It doesn't seem like it is. Okay, good. It's not. Excellent. Okay. And here's the jukebox. And if we go over, we can hit E. And it'll do its thing. And there you go. You can, you know, hit it again. Okay, so that's that's one minor thing that you can do with uh, prefabs. But as the title says, we have some other stuff. Now, this is a map that I've been uh, working on. Haven't worked on it in a couple days, but uh, we're going to add a car. We're just going to throw it into the water. So same thing as before. We're just going to click this. And then, ah, there we go. And then we're going to go to VMF file name. And we're going to add a new car. And it, it, it might do this. It might even crash. It crashed on me once. But I'm sure that's fine, right? Like, that's perfectly normal. I am going to try to get the car to uh, kind of be on the ground slightly. Okay, so the car is in. And if we were to run this... Now, it's going to produce a lot of errors because this map doesn't have any nav meshes. And if your map doesn't have any nav meshes, then it's going to produce a lot of errors. And you'll see them in the top left. You'll also see them in the console window. Um, 
You can just ignore that. It's because, you know, the car alarm is supposed to spawn a bunch of zombies, but you don't have a spawn point, so... I mean, yeah, you obviously can't, you know. So that's still good. And then there's the car. And there you go. And there you can see in the top left, spawning a whole bunch of errors. Okay, and it's done. And it, it'll just, it'll, it'll just keep running that. Okay, so now that we've spawned in a jukebox, spawned in a car, which was all really simple, uh, if we open this up, you know, how, how do we, you know, actually make the change? Well, there is an edit instance, and you can also just do a file open, but we're just going to hit edit instance. And you can see here that we have a car. Now, if we select this, Oh, hold on. It should. There we go. Okay. So uh, th there was something I was going to show, but it was already set. So by default, your selection is tied to groups, which means when you select it, you know, it's going to spawn all of this. And if you double click this, it's going to say like multiple objects, you know, all sorts of stuff, multiple models. You know, you really can't do a whole lot. But if you select objects and then just select the car, and then double click it, you'll see that, hey, we have a car. And we can type in car. And I, I think there's other car models, I think. Uh, what was the name of this thing? I'll just type in sedan. Maybe there will be other. OK, yeah, here we go. Here we go. We'll just we'll use this one. And we'll just hit OK. And then we'll hit apply. Now, you know, you do have to go through and reposition uh, you know all the little stuff like you will have to do that where on earth is it um so that's like for the spotlight beam so you have to you will have to make some adjustments especially if you know it's a completely like this this car is very different uh but for the sake of this tutorial we're not going to do that so we're going to do a file save and then I'm going to call this uh, 2. And then we're just going to save it. And then I'm going to load back my Labyrinth level. And I'm going to double click this. And I'm just going to change it to Car Alarm 2. And then I'm going to hit Apply. And it's going to flicker and all that fun stuff again. Because, you know, it's going to add everything in. And now, as you can see, it is a different model. And if we go over here and run the map, and wait just a second here. Now again, Don't keep in mind, keep in mind that everything in the car does have to be adjusted. Um, you know, the car glass on this is wrong, so you will have to adjust things. But it is still significantly faster than. Uh, well, it it is significantly faster than doing it all from scratch. But there you go. That's how you use instances, and like I said, you know, they're very, very simple. Um, just make the adjustments for a car alarm, and boom, you know, five minutes, and you're done. I mean, the amount of work that it would take to do all of this each and every single time, and then, you know, move them around the scene, and, you know, this is, this is just one, um, you know, this is just like one model, and, you know, you can select it, and you can rotate it. Probably not in that horrible direction, though. Probably... Don't want to do that. I wasn't holding space. Um, but, you know, you can rotate and, you know, it's it'll all be relative uh, to the origin of the instance. So it's quite nice, very useful. And uh, that's that. And I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And you can support the channel by becoming a member, get early access to videos and all that good stuff and some other perks. As well, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can comment down below. But I definitely recommend you join the Discord, especially if you have any issues because you get help way faster than you do through YouTube comments. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. 
If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.